Hello guys and welcome back to lead logics. This is the maximum total damage with spell casting problem from lead code and the number for this is 3186. So in the given problem we are told about a magician who has various spells. So we are given with an array power where each element in the we, where each element in the array power represents the damage of the spell. And multiple spells can have same damage value. That means the array can have repetitive values. So, okay, we know this. It is known fact that if a magician decides to cast a spell with a damage of power of i, they cannot cast any spell with a damage of power of i minus 2, power of i minus 1, power of i plus 1, and power of i plus 2. That means, suppose if I cast a spell of damage 5, I cannot cast another spell that is of damage 4 or 6 or damage 3 or 7 because they are power of i minus 1, power of i plus 1, power of i minus 2 and power of i plus 2 respectively and each spell can be cast only once so each spell can be only cast once but suppose you have two spells of same value same damage value then you can cast both of those spells so yes this is another fact of the question and we have to return the maximum possible total damage of the that the magician can cast so let's see through an example how we are going to solve this so Suppose the input power is 1, 1, 3, 4. We have two spells of damage of 1, 1 of 3 and 1 of 4. Suppose if we cast the spell of power 1 and 1, so the total damage becomes 2. Now we cannot cast the spell of damage 3 because it is 1 plus 2 becomes 3, so it has a conflict with 1. And in the next step, uh, the, we have the damage 4. We can cast the spell of damage 4 because it does not have a conflict with 1. So the total damage becomes 1 plus 1 plus 4 that is 6. Now let's see the same for another example but through tables. Suppose we have the power equal to 7, 1, 6, 6. So the first step for uh, this approach will be creating a frequency map so we are going to create a frequency map and count the number of times uh, damage occurs. So 1 occurs one time, 6 occurs two time and 7 occurs one time. So this is the frequency map and it is in the sorted order. We have to sort the frequency map as well. In the next step we have to create the DP, DP array of size of the unique values and then we are going to do some, some of the calculations for DP. So we will create the DP array of size of unique numbers that is 3 so we have a DP and in the next step what we are going to do we are going to calculate the total damage a spell can have suppose we have a for 1 we have only the count is 1 so the maximum damage is possible is only 1 in the next we have a damage of 6 but we have 2 spells of damage 6 so the total damage which we can cast is 6 into 2 that is 12. So the total damage till now becomes 13 but we have to check that 6 should not have conflict with 1. So for this we check the previous index if it has a conflict with 1 uh, with the current value then we cannot keep the current value otherwise we can take it. In the next step we see 7 but 7 has a conflict with 6 and 6 has more damage than 7 because there are two values of 6 and only one value of 7. So the total damage here becomes 13 and 13 is returned. Now let's come to the coding section but before that do like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel. So let's come to the coding section. I have already written the code. I am not writing it because it will make the video too much lengthy. So the first step was to create a frequency map and uh, count the frequency so we have created a frequency map of integer and long and then we are putting all the values of damage in the frequency map and then the next step was to extract the number of unique damage values so for that we are using a key set function so we are taking out all the unique keys of the damage frequency and then we are creating another list that contains only the unique damages and then we are going to sort the list so we have extracted and sorted all the unique values from the list or the power array now the next step was creation of the dp array initialization so the dp array was to be of the size 
unique values so we have the we calculate the no, total number of unique values that is unique damages dot size then we create a dp of that is of size unique damages okay and the next step next step was to fill the dp array with maximum damage calculations in the next step we are going to do the max, maximum damage calculation that is the current damage value into the frequency of the current damage value that will be the maximum damage for a particular node and then we are also going to check if it has a conflict with previous indexes or not that is if it is equal to minus 1 minus 2 plus 1 plus 2 if it is then we do a previous index minus minus and after we have found the previous index min, uh, previous index and if it is a valid index then what we'll do the damage till the previous index plus the current damage either that is the maximum answer or the damage or the current damage we ignore the previous and we take the current damage this is in this case otherwise we take the till the previous index what is the damage plus what is the uh, current damage that so one of those will be the maximum and then simply return the total dam unique damages minus one of max of damage dp let's try to run it so absolutely fine uh, let's try to submit it for the hidden test cases as well so it passes the hidden test cases as well with a good time complexity and a good memory complexity so the time complexity for the program actually for building the frequency map is O of M where M is the number of elements of input for sorting the unique keys it is M log N and for dynamic programming it is M square so the time complexity becomes M square and the space complexity is O of M because we are using this maps and other things as well you can also check my C++ Python and JavaScript solution by going into the solutions panel and check this solution Lancet x6 this contains the intuition the approach complexity step-by-step -step explanation the code Java code C++ Python JavaScript and yes do remember to upload I hope you liked the video understood the logic please do like it share it and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching the video have a nice day